Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Adai Miniatures and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert this into this. As most of you can recognize this shape, it's a water tank from a Mad Max the Fury Row. Yeah? And I just used a ping pong ball and a couple of very easy to obtain materials to build it. So, if you like to see how I make it, just keep on watching. In today's video I'm going to be using this as a starting point. So, what do I want to build? I want to build this... Uh, if you watch the Fury Road, and most of you did, because, you know, we play Gaslands, so we watch the Fury Road. Uh, you remember that they was dragging this... Uh, ball-shaped uh, water container behind the giant truck and so I want to recreate this thing and so I have a bottle cup which I already sanded to have better adhesion and I have a uh, ping pong ball and if you just you know take any of the regular cars yeah, you can see that this is quite big in comparison to them yeah, and then you have to remember that there's gonna be wheels, so it's definitely gonna fit within the general idea of a of this what it was built uh, as. Yeah, so first thing, you know, I'm just gonna glue this in because this is already what I decided. Oh. Of course, the super glue have to get stuck. Yeah, but this just happened to me every single day, so I should be probably used to it by now yeah and just pop it in yeah as this is you know circular this is a ball this is a circular object yeah those two gonna merge very nicely with each other even though there are two different plastics and you know there usually would be a issue but after sanding this you know this got already very good connection so what's next with that project mm. i was thinking about you know the wheels and what wheels i want to use and i haven't prepared any so i'm just gonna take a moment to prepare the wheels and be right back so i pick up a couple of wheels from uh, my tiny collection of you know spares and I think about using those as a outside wheels and using those as a inside wheels uh, what I'm talking about uh, when you look at the pictures of the of this uh, cistern kind of object uh, the, the wheels are actually doubled so you know like two together so I want to do exactly that and you know just using those wheels yeah, so let's just grab a napkin to survive, to help my fingers survive. And clippers. Okay, I have them here. That wasn't that bad. I thought that I just, you know, misplaced them completely. Yeah, so yeah, when you cut this, you know, just put it into the napkin. Oh. Come on! This axle is just extremely well resilient it was up to the point i guess yeah and you know i can even leave the axle pieces in those ones because those are gonna be the inside ones yeah so just here and in the napkin no snap but i know it is cut so it's fine and i need to of course remove those ones from the There we hear it from the axles. And I'm not building the platform exactly as it is built in a Fury Road, as it just looks completely different. So I want those ones to be on the outside. Come on. Third and fourth. 
And now, okay, I don't have, to, I was thinking that I'm gonna need to remove these little knobs here, but thankfully, you know, I chose the wheels that I don't have to do that. So I can just add super glue in here and just put those wheels on top. And we have double thickness wheels. And you know, I like the look of those outside wheels because they look like they are, they have spokes in them. Yeah. All right. And the last one, like the ones with the orange rim instead of the chrome ones did actually kind of click together, so that was a bonus. Come on. Uh, let's say it's okay. <coughs> so now mm, I want to just grab a maybe thicker piece of plastic card and just do the mm, bottom like there was this kind of platform and then this was welded, the ball was welded to it, so there was no this ring. But I just want to make a square so I can glue the wheels to it. <coughs> I'm sorry for coughing, but for the last few days I'm just, you know, losing my voice steadily. So I need to lubricate more. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is like that, and I need about this much. So I assume that when I cut it in half, it's gonna be almost the same. Yep, it was like two meals difference. And there we go. This is very straight, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna glue it like that, together, and then underneath this. So, one, two, 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 two. And this is stuck together. It creates this small platform. It's gonna allow me to build a um, hitching uh, piece in here. So I just sanded the bottom of that as well to create better bond. And again, atrocious amount of super glue. Uh, by the way, if you are ever killed by a thrushes, you know who that was. <laughs> of course, in World of Warcraft, in World of Warcraft. And that wasn't me. Uh, now, I know that nobody's gonna be looking under this, but I just want to add this strip. It's gonna be reinforcement and, you know, it's gonna just help and if I have this tipped over, you know, it's gonna be at least a extra detail. Oh my god. My brain today is on holidays. I just tried to glue it upside down. That wasn't very smart. Just quickly remove as much as I can. Maybe this is still gonna hold the detail. Let's do that. But yeah, I have this, and now I have to glue the wheels in. Yeah, but this, you know, gluing like that, it's gonna be kind of black. Not really interesting. So 
let's just grab uh, my bundle of tubes and find the right diameter one and I just want to cut it to <clears throat> the size and I don't care about squishing it when I cut it with scissors yeah. because the only thing I need to squeeze inside of it is the axle yeah? and it's still way too big so let's see this is gonna fit in here perfectly and then I'm gonna cut a second one just using this, this piece as a measurement already and there we have it okay and now I just need to glue the wheels inside and probably make a little bit of cleanup on my desk but we know that cleanups do not really work well for me <laughs> what can I say my parents was trying to raise a tidy person yeah but they erased a mess. <laughs> they was doing their best though. It's not their fault. It's just, you know, me being messy crafter, it's always like that. Alright, so I have two giant axles, I have this and now uh, I remember that in movie the two wheels were quite close together, so roughly about that, yeah, let's just glue the first one. And the second one, just about not too far away from the first one. Yeah, and here we have this, you know, little weird, uh, what would you call it? Mm. Cistern, yeah. And now I remember they have, you know, this small hatch at the top in here and there was as well a pipe with something sticking out to the back so, you know, I just want to somewhat recreate that not perfectly because, you know, me and perfection yeah, those two words do not really work together and perfection is kind of overrated Like if you cannot love the flaws, then perfection wouldn't work for you either. So I have a little ring that I just cut and I ain't gonna be cleaning it up. I don't want to have like this that is slightly squished and whatever works again for the universe, for gaslands, yeah? Like at least my version of it because people would have probably different version of this in their own heads but for me this is my version and in my version everything is really scrapped oh, I had this lovely piece prepared and then I misplaced it and I cannot find it now okay I'm gonna have to do something different then Sorry about that, so I'm gonna have a second piece of a pipe just sticking out of here, just a little bit smaller one. Mm. Maybe this. Yeah, this is just a next step down. 
and I want it to be cut under the angle because it's gonna try to uh, connect to this ball and you know if you want it to be sticking out straight you need this to be under the angle okay that's fine that actually works perfectly and there we go <clears throat> and again just a little bit smaller so one of the thicker one of the thin ones that I own and just come on be nice I cut through it and this is me trying to recreate uh, what was done in a Fury Road so please remember this is my interpretation it is not exactly what was there and probably people who knows better would make it this much better but I just looked at the like two pictures and decided to build that <laughs> yep okay and that's it now I need to make some sort of hitching mechanism and this is what I really struggle with, especially that I think that they run out of I-beams. Hmm. Hitching, hitching, how to make the hitch for that? Uh, I think that the best option gonna be just grabbing a paper clip and bending it in the right way and then attaching it into a Give me a second, I will figure this out and be right back because I think that I have an idea, but explaining this could be quite hard for me. To attach the hitch, I actually make these two little plates with holes in them. And, you know, I want to glue them to the edges here. And, you know, when it comes to um, how this hitching mechanism is built it's not very attractive looking mechanism but uh, that's far what I have in my head is probably the most uh, this version of this mechanism is going to be the most useful one because I ran through a couple of ideas and you know just by thinking about them I could find a couple of holes in them and this one actually works no matter how badly you do it so <clears throat> so what I want to do is have a let's just unbend this um, come on just piece of plastic rod of big enough diameter this one gonna be fine so I want to have this crossed in here so it's creating the hitching loop yeah and then those two I want them to be like that and then just cut off in here hopefully it's gonna be long enough and then roughly in here and then just grab my pliers and just bend it outwards well, it's roughly at the same point and now I can just put them through the holes yeah and it isn't pretty by any state of imagination oh my goodness and I just broke it off but it's gonna be functional so I'm gonna just glue it back and you know then I'm gonna black bomb it and be right back 
And like Backstreet Boys, I'm back again. Yeah, I have this nicely black bumped. And I was looking at the movie and it was kind of a grayish color. Yeah, at the picture. But in my interpretation, it is just metallic. Yeah, so just a heavy dry brush on this. Because I wouldn't see a point of if they just have found this metallic ball and use it as a tank on the wheels, then I wouldn't see a point of them painting it. Maybe there is some, but I cannot really comprehend it. So I'm just leaving it metallic. It's just gonna be this very simplistic object standing in between all of my other crazy stuff. Yeah, so this is painted now. Now, of course, the last part, which is the most annoying, gonna be weathering of that. And I'm trying to empty this brush as I want to use it. And you know, those big brushes, they take a lot of water when you try to rinse them. So a brown color. A beige color and this could be the dust oh this is not that one oh i have this one here the beige color I, yesterday i needed to cut off the tip as it was so stuck that i couldn't unst get it unstuck let's just grab a new paper towel and like yesterday, just get that and start brushing over the wheels. Some in here, yeah. And I have this done. And uh, well. I forgot about some rust effects, yeah? I still need to train that. So where is my crappy brush? Because it is the best for the rust effects. Well, I have plenty of crappy brushes, but yeah. So let's grab this. Let's grab the red and the orange. I'm gonna skip the blazing orange as blazing orange was I still think that it's a bit too aggressive, so just a little bit of red and probably more of this orange. It is one of the foundation paints, but I watered it down so much and it is now just normal paint. So yeah, baking soda, red paint. Just mix it a bit. And I'm just thinking where the, the, the rust would be accumulating and I think definitely, you know, next to the welds that was made. Probably somewhere around this area as well. And I think that I'm slowly getting more used to having a everything in a focus especially holding it a little bit farther from my face and now the lighter orange I just Yeah, instead of being a paint, it's now a paste. And you know, it's just... It's like a snow effect. It's applying very dry. And now here. And in here. And that's it. Yeah, I'm just gonna dry it off properly and I'm gonna throw it on the spin table and we're gonna finish this video for today. 
And here we have it, my interpretation of the Mad Max water cistern. Yeah, I remember it being pulled by the truck when I was watching the entire movie, and you know, I just grabbed a couple of pictures from the internet, you know, as an inspiration for that. I know that there should be a ladder in here, just like pieces of wire bent, but you know, I just didn't want to do that as it is kind of annoying element to build. But other than that, you know, I'm happy to have another oddity put into my collection. Yeah, as you know, I don't think that too many people are gonna have exactly the same thing. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, you know. Send to your family, friends, neighbors. Yeah, if your dog watch YouTube, you know, you can send it to your dog. Yeah. Uh, but this is it for today, so thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day. Take care everyone.